Hey guys, um, it's 95 here today and they said it's going to get up to 100 and feel like 105 and I have a business meeting um, in a restaurant that we're probably going to eat like in this sort of outdoorish place and then I've got clients and I'm going to be on the subway and running around and I thought I'm going to do my makeup for you guys on what I would do on a hot steamy sweltering day but when you have to wear makeup because I have to wear makeup today. I got to put the hair back or my neck is going to like all the hair is going to get wet on the back of my neck. It's so gross and so hot. Okay. Um, first things first, I've been using this Laura Mercier Flawless Skin um, Daily Face Shield SPF 40. It's really, really light. You only need a tiny, tiny amount to go all over your face, and that's what I put on before my makeup when I need to wear SPF. You can do it with moisturizers. This is just what I prefer. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was what I use on my skin, like on my legs and stuff instead of moisturizer because moisturizer gets really, really slippery. Um, this is natural sesame oil. It's just sesame oil. I got it at a health food store. It has no scent whatsoever and it um, it's a little more dry. I just think it moisturizes a little better and I, it doesn't feel like lotion. Even though it's oil, it, it has like a more of a dry, a dryness to it. When I have to have my skin looking more even, I but I don't want to wear foundation, what I do is just put a little concealer on where I need it. So today I'm using, and I all, prom, pretty much always do clay to poe. I know it's expensive, but I think it's the best for faking foundation. So I'm just going to put it where I need it and then blend it out into the rest of my skin. Uh, that was beige, by the way. Um, Clay de Poe concealers come in four colors, that's it. But <clears throat> beige, I find, is what most people do. I probably could have done ochre, which is just a little bit warmer. Um, but so my skin looks more even, but I don't have foundation all over it. No, none of this has product, none of this has product. It's really just down my T zone and blending it really well into the rest of my skin. And then I think. Um, just to give myself a little bit of warmth, I'm just going to take Laguna by NARS, but not too much. And just give, just kind of even the rest of my face out. I'm going to fill in my brow very quickly. I would recommend using powder on a day like today because it doesn't have wax in it and then that way you don't have to worry about it running. Powder tends to really stick. It's dry and if you want it to be more bold I suppose you could, you know, dampen the brush a little bit, but my suggestion would be to use powder, an eyeshadow powder. For eyes, I'm going to stick with something kind of waterproof. Bobbi Brown makes these sort of like waterproof shadows. I'm going to do a paint pot Groundwork by MAC. And I think, I, you know what, I think I'm just going to use my finger. Make it easy. an eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take just a little bit of the concealer and just run it right under my brow bone. Okay, and really, really, really just a tiny bit of shadow in the corner. You don't have to, but I kind of like to cover paint pots or cream shadows with a little shadow just to kind of set it. It doesn't really need it if it's waterproof, but I'm going to do it anyways. Um, I'm using Swiss chocolate right here. Actually, is it Swiss chocolate? Let's see if I'm right. Yes, I'm right. Okay, 
little Swiss chocolate. Really just in the corner. Bobbi Brown Gel Liner in Black Mauve. I'm using a uh, Louise Young liquid liner brush. I don't want to do a wing or anything. I just want to blind my eyes with something that's going to stay all day. So I'm just really going right to the end. Curl my lashes. <clears throat> Some mascara. You might be tempted to use waterproof mascara on a really hot day. I would advise you to try to avoid waterproof mascara. I personally think they're incredibly harsh on our lashes and it takes so much for it to come off. And even when you think it's all off, it's not. It might look like it's all off, but there's still a lot of fibers clinging to your lashes and I don't know, I think it's kind of damaging and I just I just don't think it's good to have a product stay on your skin or your lashes for that matter for very long. So there's always this debate. I'm always asked by magazines, what blush do you wear when it's hot? Do you wear cream or do you wear powder? The truth is I mix a little bit of both just to have those textures kind of adhere to one another. So I'm gonna do two Sonia Kushek um, blushes. The first one is a cream in rosy number 31. I believe they still make it. Oops. And then the powder is Beautifying Blush in Lily number 16. And just do a little bit of that right over it. Actually, normally I do cream blush on top of powder, but because it's so hot, I'm just gonna kind of seal it in with a little bit of powder, but really, really small amount. Lips, I'm gonna do a little Mayflower by NARS. One of their summer colors, I think, yeah. So here's my makeup that I'm wearing today on this hot, sweltering day. Um, it's probably not going to be completely weatherproof, but some of the products that I use are going to help a lot. And I think when it's this hot, you want to just keep it minimal and pretty. Otherwise, it's just, it can be a mess. So I um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're cool wherever you are. And I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.